think many of us here today have seen what's been printed in the Daily Mail over the years. And maybe, you know, I've been guilty of thinking, that rag, it prints a load of lies, it pumps hate, it's been doing it for years. And I think what's changed now is that people are not prepared to take it anymore. They've set way over the line, both in everything they've said about Ralph Miliband, uh, his attitude towards so-called hating Britain, about the sheer hypocrisy of the Daily Mail and their own racist history, uh, his homophobic history, homophobic history. We know exactly what that paper pumps out. The beginning of the end, they're being exposed as tax dodgers, as well as all the hatred that they spread. Uh, they don't pay their own taxes. And uh, the more we shine the light on the Daily Mail, the better chance there is of ending it. One very good suggestion that I saw on Twitter today was that the empty uh, plinth in Trafalgar Square should be given over to a statue of Ralph Miliband. And I think maybe we should have a statue of Ralph Miliband uh, in Manchester, not only... Exhilaration at the start of the welfare state to the nasty, nasty things that are happening now. And every opportunity I get, I will protest to the day I die. And I hope to die in the NHS. I do not want this horrible stuff that's happened to everybody. ...that Ralph Miliband stood up for, and that's the side of the working class. The ones who work and produce all the wealth of this country, but actually take away only a fraction of it. The ones who are left impoverished, the ones who are left lacking healthcare and education when they haven't got the money to afford it. And that's the half of Britain that the Daily Mail hates.